Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cyclone from the clan uh, Immoral Th Reapers and also part of the Immoral family of clans. And uh, glad you joined us and would like to uh, share with you a recent uh, war recap from a war we had against uh, Vizion 007. As you can see, we've also been on a four war win streak, so uh, doing a great job and bringing in the wins and bringing in that full loot. And so the the war we had here against Vizion was was a close one. It was 78 to 75, but in the end, of course, the Reapers came out ahead and got all of that experience. Uh, we are a level 5 clan, have been for a while now. Um, if you're interested in joining us, um, apply in-game and um, you know check out our requirements first if you don't mind, but uh, love to have you. We're especially looking for, uh, in Immoral Reapers at this point, we're especially looking for some stronger Town Hall 7s uh, trying to balance out the clan just a little bit if we could, but uh, if you're interested, uh, check us out. Alright, so looking at this war here, you can see um, 75 stars, it was a 30 on 30, so we covered the bottom part of the map pretty thoroughly, um, just left a few stars at the top, which is pretty common, um, but we're still getting real close to a perfect war. Um, I think we've been within a couple stars a few different times now. Um, I'm sure we'll get it soon, but uh, we want to share a couple of great attacks we had in this war. So, starting out with uh, Joe Mama's attack on number two, which is, I think it's Sefe Gulari. I probably butchered that, but anyway, we've got a uh, quad La Loon he happening on this base here. And what he does really well is does a great job of set setting up this funnel for uh, the attack on the Archer Queen. So, you can see through the golem in, he's flanked with a couple of wizards. He's got the queen now that those uh, side uh, structures are gone. And this king's going to run right on into the center here against this queen. Of course, drawing out the uh, clan castle troops at the same time. And really just going to take them all on here at one point And take out that archer queen along with uh, all those clan castle troops. Uh, you see there's actually a witch in there. So I think uh, the witch is going to take out his archer queen here in a second. But... Um, sets the stage nicely. You can see he's actually now already dropped in the first Lava Hound and the second Lava Hound, both going towards that air defense, and then has the loons coming in on the backside. And of course with the Teslas there and all the other structures that can do damage to those, uh, to those loons, goes ahead and throws the Rage down, gets them in on top of that air defense, in fact quickly enough that that Lava Hound works its way over to the second air defense and allows him to drop a third one in. Again, Rage is up, gets the uh, structures taken out along with the Teslas and the, the Wizard Towers and then of course the, uh, the air defense itself and then going to work here again on the next air defense. So he led these real nice, he, he threw in the Hound, he brought in the Loons at an angle where uh, they wouldn't take too much fire from the, uh, the point defenses as they worked their way in and uh, really at this point He's cleaned out all of the air defenses, all four of those are down, along with the Expos and all those Teslas in the core. So um, really just on cleanup duty at this point. And so again, he did a nice job funneling into that Archer Queen on the left side initially. Um, took out her along with those uh, Clan Castle he drops in the jump spell. Um, I think he was just burning it because he really didn't need the jump on the loons. But anyway, nice job, Joe Mama. Got it done, got us three stars and... Uh, Really appreciate that. So, all right, let's take a look here. I think we had another one down here. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, Slim Jim on Karim. And uh, first of all, let's see. Oh, no. No, nope. you do not want to do um, Loon, uh, I'm sorry, Dragons against level six air defenses. Um, uh, not usually a good move. But surprise, surprise, Slim Jim. Knew what he was doing. He actually threes this base, even though he's using the dragons against the level sixes. And let me tell you why it works. So, um, typically you wouldn't want to do this against uh, the level six eight air defenses, but you can see that he's attacking on the side with the isolated air defense. And really, because these last two are set so far back that while the dragons are working in on the first air defense, uh, those back air defenses aren't actually shooting at the dragons. So. Um, it's sort of a two-tiered attack. He gets in there with the uh, loons coming in behind, of course, keeps them healed up so that as they approach that second set of air defenses that 
really everything's kind of healed up nicely. And that's why this works. Um, that first air defense was sort of like the gateway in. And even though he's got these other air defenses protected by these uh, storages, because he came in from the middle of the base, he's actually on the other side of those. So able to come in, um, get those air defenses down relatively quickly. And now you can see he's got, I don't know, half a dozen dragons and even a, a couple loons left after those air defenses are down. So he's sitting in real good shape at this point. Um, one other thing that actually helped him out, I'm not sure if this was cleanup or not, and if he knew this going in, but um, you can actually see there's Teslas in the corner. So there's one down there, and there's another one that's going to uh, show up somewhere else here. Oh, there on the right side, sorry. So by having those Teslas sitting on the outside, and I don't know if he was just trying to do the double giant bomb on the perimeter thing and, and hoping he's getting hogged, but um, it kind of backfired on him here because uh, Dragon's obviously... Uh, are not going to trip those and with the corner Tesla's took some of the strength out of the middle of the base which ultimately hurt him because uh, the dragons chewed right through it so great job by Slim Jim and uh, good read on the base there knowing that the uh, dragons would work out um, you never know with those hogs and, and some of the en empty spots in the middle if you're going to get it so and speaking of hogs um, one question that's kind of coming up a fair amount in our clan is, uh, because we have a lot of new players that rotate in, is what's the best way to use hogs? So I'm going to actually contrast two different attacks. Um, I'm going to first show you what B-Man does, and uh, we'll pause it here real fast. But uh, So B-Man is going to get three stars on this, um, but there's a couple of things I want to point out. If you're looking to improve how you uh, attack with hogs, um, you know, you'll want to look for these pointers. First of all, um, with any base, you're looking for the double giant bomb spots, and there's a couple there in the core um, that could potentially be uh, the giant bomb spots. But aside from that, often what is going to kill your hogs is going to be uh, the Barbarian King along with uh, the Wizard Towers. So especially if you get a Wizard Tower right after taking damage from a giant bomb, uh, Wizard Tower is going to cut you down real fast. So, um, one thing that's important is to try to heal um, and be prepared for any of the empty spots on the map as well as uh, approaching wizard towers or around wizard towers. So, um, But the hogs do need to have strength going into those areas and one thing that B-Man does here is maybe heals just a little bit too late. Um, he ultimately does get the three star but you can see he's going to use up pretty much the entire time in order to do that. So he got it done um, but I'll show you in a minute maybe a couple of things to think about if you want to try to um, be even more efficient with it. So you can see he goes two finger drop. He's working the hogs in here. Um, he's going to actually lose a few here on the bottom side because of that later heal. So you've got some red popping up in there. The wizard tower's already popping on him, taking him out. So by this point, you really want to get that heal in there a little sooner. I know he was trying to preemptively... Uh, prepare for that giant bomb there, but uh, I think he lost quite a few hogs in the process just waiting. And then that northern heal, there was really only a few hogs that went that direction, so didn't get really the full benefit out of that particular heal spell. Um, but here he is uh, pre-healing going into the wizard tower area and still knocks that out pretty well. But now he's going to come back down through the base, got to take out these Teslas. I think there might be a giant bomb in the center here too, plus the king, so uh, he's going to lose pretty much all of his hogs at this point, and now you're really relying on the rest of your kill squad and supporting troops to take out the base. And as you can see, there's quite a bit left. There's about 30% of the base left. Um, so like I said, he got it done, not trying to take anything away from him on the three star. Um, but just a couple things to think about. Um, you know, those heal spells maybe a little bit sooner, and uh, probably keeps more of those hogs up and makes this easier. So... Um, Three stars for him, and just to contrast it, um, I'll just show you what I did here on number 24. So kind of a similar deal, um, not a lot of double giant bomb spots, I don't even know if there was one on this particular base, but um, just note that the pathing, so I'm going to clear out this wizard tower, or this archer tower and that air defense if I can get to it, lure the clan castle troops, and what that does is allows a two finger pathing to go in from both sides and around the core, sort of through the core, um, but at the same time healing kind of around those wizard towers. 
and just notice how many hogs uh, stay up. And you can see also that this attack uh, total time was only about two minutes, so it was pretty efficient. And um, you know, just notice the difference. So you get the uh, the uh, lure here going. There's actually a bomb there. Pop that one. It wasn't really an issue because I wasn't going to path through it anyway. But um, still nice to clear one. You never know. Um, lots of archers in the clan castle, so actually took a little bit of time just making sure I bunched them up and ultimately take them out and get the drop from the witches there. Um, once that happens, we get the hogs coming in here. Two finger drop, just a second. So I heal a little bit earlier here again, um, protecting against wizard towers. Plus, so you can see I catch the uh, empty spots where the Teslas pop out. So by the time the hogs come out of that central part, and one actually one group's actually going to go south a little bit, but the rest are going to go north, and you'll see that I heal right around that, um, catching many of the defenses that are left in this base. Uh, and by the time that the hogs come out of there, they're going to run up to get that final cannon and then come back down into the base. So um, already have cleared all the defenses. took about a minute or so once the hogs were deployed, and that leaves... Uh, you can see they're going after the king here, so they get him. Um, plenty of hogs left to help clean up the base. And I'll speed it up here, and you can see that uh, with that pack of hogs, along with the uh, kill squad still surviving, this is a easy slam dunk, three star. And uh, just wanted to point out, heal spell placement is pretty important, especially if you can catch a lot of the defenses at one time. So. All right, well, that's about all I got for you today. Um, appreciate you checking out this war recap. And uh, again, if you're interested in joining us, check us out. Uh, we are on the forums. Uh, you can also check us out on our YouTube page at Immoral Clashing. And uh, thanks for checking us out, and we hope to see you next time. Take care.